What is up guys? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, we're going to go Nike outlet shopping. And at the very end of the vlog, I will unbox my 20,000 peso haul from that shopping trip. Let's go! Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we have two ongoing giveaways. We're giving away an Under Armour Hover Sonic. We're giving away basketball shoes. We're giving away like a bunch of gadgets, which includes a mini drone, spy glasses, a spy clock, a power bank, and even a really nice wireless speaker. All you guys have to do, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and then click the link down below for the rest of the mechanics. You can find it in the description box. So my wife Colin and I went on over to the Nike outlet store over at Paseo the, over the weekend to check out what were the sneakers available. And we were completely blown away with the heat that we were able to find just sitting there. So let's go over some of the nice finds. First up, we have the Kobe One Proto in black and purple. And this one was selling for 50% off. Half the price. Half. 50%. So it's now down to just 4,995 pesos. Definitely not a bad deal considering the quality, the build, and the technology in this sneaker. If you guys are looking for basketball sneakers, there's a treasure trove really sitting at outlet stores. Apart from that, we also have the Foam Posit 1 in a floral colorway, also at 50% off. I think it's 50 or maybe 40. The price is knocked down to 7,795 pesos. Yes, it's still pricey. Yes, it's still not super affordable. But hey, it's a big discount. So if you're into Foam Posits, you know the value that you guys are getting here. Next up, for all you Jordan heads out there, we have the Jordan 2 Retro in white blue and yellow so it's dominantly white accents of light blue shades of yellow this one usually sells for over i think nine thousand pesos or maybe around eight thousand but it's now knocked down to just four thousand six hundred ninety five pesos under a hundred dollars that's roughly eighty dollars not a bad deal if you think about again the quality of the leather the design the brand really nice basketball shoe now if you are a fan of the legacy 312 if you're part of the few <laughs> they have the legacy 312 low in yellow and this one is on 30 percent off so you can actually cop it for just 5,600 pesos a little over a hundred dollars however we're not yet done we still have a bunch of great deals including this 60 percent off vapor max now guys before we continue if you are going to buy a Vapor Max, there is absolutely no reason to buy it at full price anymore. Because Vapor Max is literally litter uh, outlet stores, such as the one here in Paseo. And the price discounts range anywhere from 30% to now you're seeing it at 60% off. And the 60% of Vapor Max is actually the Vapor Max Flyknit utility with the purple pur purple purple <laughs> air bubbles at the midsole so this one the price was knocked down all the way to just 4295 pesos apart from that we also have the vapor max premier flyknit this is the high cut flyknit vapor max with a soft like eva foam in between the air bubble and your actual foot and the bubbles really comfortable shoe selling for 40 percent off you can actually get it for just 6295 pesos now there are other vapor maxes different colorways of the vapor max flying it uh, and it is usually selling anywhere from 30 to 40 percent off which includes the safari model a blue model and some sort of like purple model so you have multiple colorways to pick from at discounts again vapor maxes don't buy them at full price unless you really really love the design and you want to get it fast because chances are they will find their way to the outlet stores now we also saw the air max 270 bowfins this is really a timely air max 270 to rock mainly because it is rugged and water resistant the outsole is more durable the upper is water resistant and it's just a sneaker super nice to rock here in the philippines especially now that we're hitting the rainy season it came in multiple colorways from the brown one and orange to the brown and blue to the blue and green 
to the all black so take your pick initially this was just a 20% off a few weeks ago when I first dropped by the outlet but now we saw further reductions it's now at 30% off so you can actually get it for a little less than 5,500 or 5,700 can't, can't remember the exact price somewhere around 5, 5 to 6,000 not a bad deal because this is a sneaker that's durable you can beat this up relentlessly and it is the sneaker that you can bring out every time it's the rainy season here in the Philippines speaking of the Air Max 270 I did a review of the Air Max 270 React so make sure that you guys watch that if you haven't yet I will have it pinned down below in the comment section as well as link in the description box but hey guys we're not yet done speaking of Air Maxes we have the full range full colorways of the Air Max Deluxes including the OG colorway which was worn by Sean Waterspoon which made it so hype uh, and this one is already at 30% off you can cop it for just 6,000 pesos here in the Philippines a little over 120 US dollars we also have the Nike Epic React Flyknit 2 so again, it doesn't make sense to buy the Epic React Flyknit at full price unless you really need one and you can't afford to go to the outlets. But if you can't make the trip, the Epic React Flyknit sells for just 6,000 pesos now. This is the Epic React Flyknit 2. Huh? This is the second model. It's not the first generation and it's already on 20% sale. Super versatile shoe. You can wear it for working out, running, at leisure. Epic React Flyknit. And to the very few who loves the Nike Shocks or Shooks, Shooks, I don't know how to pronounce it, Shocks Gravity, it's at 40% off. It's now down to just 4,495 pesos. So guys, those were the sneakers that caught my attention at the Nike outlet store. Please do wait for Colin to also upload his vlog. So he will be having his own take on the outlet shopping experience over at Hype Geek, his YouTube channel. Watch out for that one. With that out of the way, we now get to the fun part. We get to the unboxing of my haul. I spent a grand total of almost 20,000 pesos Roughly 18,000 pesos, roughly around 400 US dollars, 500 US dollars for the haul that I'm about to show you. I actually bought three sneakers and I'll unbox them one by one for you all right now. This sneaker is obviously not my size and as you can tell from the box, it is an Air Max 270. This is the shoe or the sneaker that I bought for my wife. Because this is the second time that she saw it and she still wanted to take it home. Happy wife, happy life. I bought it for her. So this is the Air Max 270 for women in the white laser orange blanco or white laser orange colorway. Now you're probably thinking, what's that? Uh, I actually call it the Philippine flag colorway because it really reminds me of the Philippine flag. I mean, take a look at that color, guys. You have the yellow here at the back. You have the blue air bubble. You have the white mesh upper you have the yellow swooshes on the lateral and the middle side 270 written in blue and then you have that nice pop of red or almost salmon pink at the outsole so if you look at it from any angle it actually reminds you a lot of the philippine flag if they actually came out with this one for men's sizes i think this was would have sold out super fast in the philippines because people would relate it to the flag and they would buy droves of it well at least that's what my wife found and that's why she loved it and that's the reason why we ended up buying it so again the air max 270 i'll just call it philippines hey we're not yet done this is the air max 720 big air so the giant brother of the air max 270 now i bought this one again I actually reviewed this already featured it on the channel I actually sold the sneakers already and i gave it a very bad review as in a scathing review however i want to give it another chance because like what i mentioned in that review i felt that i got the size wrong so i have this inkling i have this feeling that i didn't do the review justice so i wanted to repeat it again so since they had the colorway that i loved on sale already at 20 percent off couldn't resist ended up buying it this is the air max 270 metallic silver black i think it's like the northern lights colorway if not i'm not sure but yeah it's it reminds me of the northern lights which i reviewed several months back so let's unbox it oh there's nothing inside <laughs> wait because i actually already wore it so this is it this is the air max 720 as you guys can see you have the giant massive air bubble which spans the entire length of your midsole and then you have this durable thick upper for the sneaker which includes this reinforced part at the toe and along the sides to give you better foot containment and lockdown so i will be doing a comprehensive take two on this and i'll probably also compare it with the air max 270 and the air max 270 react to see which one is actually the best air max 270 or 720 to buy now in 2019 
Fantastic. I actually already sold most of my Air Max 270s already and we are in the rainy season. So I couldn't resist picking up the sneaker that I mentioned earlier which would be good for the rainy season here in the Philippines. This is the Air Max 270 Bowfin. And when I originally reviewed this, again, it was a bad review. Why? Because I think I got the size wrong. I went through to size. It was so tight, especially in the midfoot. That's why I didn't pass like my review. This time I learned, so I went a full size up. So here you guys have it. This is the Air Max 270 Bowfin Part 2. Part 2 because I already did a review, but expect to see a follow-up on this bad boy now that we have it again here on hand. So you have that air bubble here at the back. You have the foam here right after that. And take a look at that durable thick outsole. So it should be able to help now that we're entering the rainy season. And again, the upper, this one guys, is actually water resistant. So those were the sneakers that I ended up buying from the Nike outlet. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. I actually didn't buy any of the 50% sneakers because they didn't have it in my size. I actually wanted to buy the Kobe's. The one that I initially featured, well, the first sneaker that I featured here on the site or on the blog. But unfortunately, they didn't have it in size 12, 12.5, or 13. I had to pass. Comfort over style first, guys. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog for today. I'm having a blast doing all of this content. I hope you are enjoying it as well. Please do watch out for more content coming your way in the next few days. Now, before we end, let me just remind you, we are having the Sneaker Carousel Festival this weekend. Carousel will be pushing everybody who's selling sneakers who uses the hashtag Carousel, hashtag Carousel Sneaker Festival uh, when they post their items. So make sure that you guys sell your unused secondhand sneakers on Carousel. This weekend, it gets that extra push. So how do you do that? Download the Carousel app. Take pictures of the items that you want to sell and then use the hashtag. But the exact mechanics, I will list down below. Guys, that's it for now. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.